The bells are ringing, the politicians are singing. Rejoice, rejoice! Growth is back and the butcher's apron is flying at full mast. As Eton educated geezer TV execs commission even more series about cupcakes, bake-offs and benefit scroungers, and no I don't mean the royal family, this week we found that the UK recorded a breakneck rate of economic growth for 2013, 1.9% with 0.7% of that coming in the final quarter of last year. But what does this data, this alleged growth, even really mean? Of that 0.7% growth, 0.6% came from services. The people that make your coffee in Starbucks and Pret, legal services, and Google beside me here. And it's services which now constitute a whopping 78% of the UK economy. That's an economy built on Shazam, John Lewis and overpriced sushi. It's no surprise then that there's a real fishy smell around this growth data and that's coming from two key areas of failure, productivity and exports. On productivity, that's output per hour worked in the UK economy, the UK is doing dreadfully and productivity is still in decline. That doesn't matter so much for now and doesn't show up on economic growth data because record numbers are entering the labour market in low paid, precarious work. That can carry on for maybe another year or two, but once unemployment reaches 5 or 6%, the only gains in economic growth are going to have to come from increases in productivity. The Bank of England has said that as of the next quarter that should start to go up again. But they've been saying the same thing every quarter for the last six years and it simply has not happened. According to Moritz Kramer, Chief Sovereign's Rating Officer at S&P, the largest contributor to UK growth has been consumption from declining household savings, rather than any increase in productivity or real rising wages. Exports have often been identified by both policymakers and commentators as key in giving the UK a sustainable model of economic growth post-crisis. In the three months of November, however, we saw a 3% decline in exports of goods. The picture is this. An economy where growth is coming from low pay, low productivity service work, a trade deficit that simply won't budge, and a current account deficit of £112 billion for this year. That's a huge number. So for all the talk of green shoots, not just of daffodils, but of economic growth, there remain long-term, structural, unresolved problems for the UK economy. If, in the face of those problems, all the major parties can do is bicker about the top rate of income tax, and they haven't just lost the plot, they're inhabiting an entirely different universe.